This video is brought to you by Dr. Kristen R. Bromley's Guitar Method Book Series and Online Music Academy. Hi, I'm Dr. Kristen Bromley. Welcome to my online academy. I hope you're having a great day. I love being here helping you with playing the guitar. In this Guitar 101 mini-series, it's all about Christmas songs. So there's 30 episodes. Each episode goes over a different Christmas song. In this episode, it is far, far away on Judea's Plains that we're going to be playing. You want to download a copy of the sheet music, so a PDF copy of the sheet music, from the description below. It's got the melody and tabs, standard notation, the chords, and the lyrics. So we're going to be using that. You'll want to download that so you can play right along with me. As we get started, we're going to play the melody, then we'll work on strumming the chords, then we'll work on finger picking the chords. So let's go ahead and get started. So we've got the melody written there in both standard music notation on the top, and then under the lyrics we've got it in tablature. So either one could be read. Now if you're not familiar with how to do either one, there's a quick answer video that will introduce you on how to play tablature. That should get you going enough that you could work through and figure out how to play the melody on this using your ear and the tablature there. If you want to know standard music notation, there's a quick answer video that can get you started on that as well, right all inside the academy. There's also the guitar method books that come with video lessons and that are part of the full-on Guitar 101 course, which goes from knowing zero to far beyond over about what's expected would be a two-semester course at the university where I teach those types of courses. So if you want to get started and you need help, you can check out the quick answer video. If you really want to get into reading notes or tablature, you can check out the method books. There's a tablature method book. comes with progressive um, songs and video lessons where I will help you learn to read tablature and play songs written in tablature. And there's also the note reading books, which same sort of thing. I'll help you go through and read notation on the guitar. I'm going to go ahead and play this here though. You can play right along with me. Or check out those quick answer videos to help get you started on how to read these melodies. So, the rhythms in a lot of these selections that I've got as part of this mini course are just written out simply so we can see the lyrics there. You can change up the rhythm a little bit to how you'd sing it if you'd like. I also mentioned a lot of my in person students love to sing the melody as they play it, and that's a great thing to do. It's a great way to get that melody in our ear as we learn to sing it so we can accompany ourselves singing, and it's also a helpful way. In playing the melody, it transfers what we know of the song into how we're playing, especially as you're reading tablature. So we'll go ahead and play this, and you can sing along if you'd like at the same time. So you got four, a one, two, ready, and four, Okay, now that we've played that melody, let's go ahead and work on the chords. i got a strumming pattern written right up here on the board. If you're not familiar with reading rhythmic notation or uh, strumming patterns, there's quick answer videos that can help you understand how to do that. I'll just be helping you here anyway. But the, the three-sided rectangle, something that <laughs> looks kind of like what you might shoot a croquet ball through, that it indicates a down strum. So when that's written above a rhythmic element, then it's a down strum that we're going to do for that rhythm. And then the V, kind of like a U, is an up strum, and so that'll tell us where we have the up strums. So the rhythm we have written here, one quarter note, and then six more eighth notes, one, two, and three, and four, and, and the strumming direction, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, one, two, up, three, up, four, up. You can swing that melody a little bit by delaying the up strum, pushing it further back into the beat than that directly the half halfway point. So about two-thirds of the way back in. And we're going to 
insert this once per measure. So I will mention too, if you need help with any of the chords that are in, that are in this song, I'm not going to go over them here, sort of save some time, but you can check out the quick answer videos. There's a quick answer video that goes over almost all the chords that we play in songs on the guitar. A lot of them anyway. You can get into other voicings, but there is a quick answer video that will help with any type of chord that we end up playing on the guitar. So if you need help, you can find help there. But I'm going to go ahead and assume that we know the chords. When we have two chords per measure. The chords are going to come in where they're indicated over the rhythm in the melody. But most of the time when we have two chords per measure, that is going to be one coming in on beat one and one on beat three. So with our strumming pattern, we do down, down, up for the first one and down, up, down, up for the second one. And that's what we do there in bar two of this song. So down, down, up, G gets down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, up. If you wanted to or needed to, you could just do down, down, up twice for each of the chords. So down, down, up on D and down, down, up on G. That's how that's going to go and any other place that's like it. So we've got a lot of that on the third line. measure has two chords in it. On the second line in that first measure, we have three chords. So we've got C that's over beats one and two, and then G on beat three and D on beat four. A couple ways we can do it. One, we can play down, down, up on C, no matter what, and we can go down, up on G, and down, up on D. Or we can just do a down strum on G and a down strum on D. So it'll be like C, We could go C, down, down, D. Either of those ways works great. I'm going to go ahead and play this. You can play right along with me. I'm just going to do one verse to save time. But of course, you've got all those verses there, all four verses and the chorus or the refrain. So plenty, plenty there to if for you to enjoy playing all the verses, but to save time, I'm just going to do one verse with us. Far. So you got one, two, ready, and far, far away on Judea's plains, shepherds of old with the joyous reigns, glory to God, glory to God. That's a great way to play this with strumming so it can accompany some singing or somebody else playing the melody. You could do a duet that way. Let's look at how we might do the chords if we were doing a finger picking pattern. Now, if you haven't done any finger picking before, you're going to want to check out the quick answer videos that get you going on how to do finger picking, how it works with the right hand, and how we pluck the strings. And there's even some uh, patterns that'll get you going there. But here today, I'm just going to kind of walk you through it and assume you've done some before. Or you can watch here, do as much as you can, and check out those quick answer videos for more help. The letters P, I, M, A are what represent the fingers in our right hand. P, I, M, A. So P equals thumb. That represents the thumb. I is for the index finger. M is for the middle finger. And A is for the ring finger. Pinky just moves with the ring finger. These letters are written above our rhythmic notation to tell us what finger we're plucking with at that specific spot uh, throughout the measure. Now, when we use our index finger, we're always going to pluck the third string or the G string. Our middle finger is always going to pluck the B string or the second string, and our ring finger is always going to pluck the E string or the top string. So no matter what, no matter what chord we're playing, it's always going to be index, middle, and ring on those three strings. And then our thumb is going to pluck the fourth, fifth, or sixth string, whichever one has the lowest note of the chord. So that's the one we're going to do there. So with a G chord, that's the low sixth string. For the D, that's the open fourth. For the C, that's the fifth. 
and for the A minor that's the fifth. Kind of a trick is that the low sixth string is an E, so any e type of E chord is going to use that one. The fifth string is an A, so any type of A chord is going to use that one. The fourth string is a D, so any type of D chord is going to use that one. For the rest of the chords, it's the lowest place we have a finger. So I've got a finger, the lowest place I have one for G is down here on the sixth string. For C, it's there on the fifth string. So that's sort of how that works. Now this pattern is one of my all-time favorites. We're going to have thumb, index, middle and ring, index. We'll notice that all the rhythm is just eighth notes. So everything gets the same amount of time. So thumb, index, and then middle and ring are going to happen at the same time on beat two and then back to the index. If we do, we can warm that up. And if you warm it up on an E minor, can you pluck the low sixth string as the bass since that's an E, and then you don't have to worry about putting your fingers on because we're not plucking those strings anyway. So thumb, index, middle and ring, index. You can just kind of get that going. That's the first half. The second half goes ring, middle, index, ring. So ring, middle, index, ring. Thumb, index, middle, and ring, index, ring, middle, index, ring. And you can just pause the video if you need to that going. We're going to need to take it a little bit faster so to sing the song at even a sort of a learning tempo, beginner tempo. That's how that will go. E-I-M-A-I-A-M-I-A. -I 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 -I. When we have two chords for measure, we're just going to use the first half twice. So for D, P, I, M, A, I, G, P, I, M, A, I, they're in the second major, for example. We'll only use the second half of that pattern when we have just one chord per bar. So in that first line, I get to that second line where I've got the C for the first half and then G and D on those beats. What are we going to do there? Well, a great way to handle that is to play the C, P, I, M, A, I and then do a pinch for the G. And so a pinch is I just have my all my fingers on and I just pinch it together and play all of them just as a grab or a pinch there. I do that once on G and once on D. So C... slower than you may want to play the song, but it's a good tempo for us to, to work through it at, for me to demonstrate it at, so you can start learning it to, to do it this way if you'd like to. So we're going to have one and two and ready and go and far, far away on Judea's plains, shepherds of old hear the joyous strain. Okay, I hope that helps with that one. Now, I have an alto voice, truly a contra alto voice. So if you want to sing this uh, in a different range, if you need to, if your range doesn't match what this particular song is written out, I choose these songs really for the best chord options that kind of get us going on playing them and a nice range for the guitar. But if you want to sing it higher, if you're a soprano, you could actually sing it an octave higher from where I am. But if it's a little low for you, or you just really want it somewhere else, you could just use a capo. And if you haven't ever used a capo before, you can check out my quick answer video on a capo. That will allow you to change the key of the song while still using these chord shapes and this melody. Also mention, if you love the sound of solo guitar, I have a Christmas album out, Silent Night, and it's on all the streaming and digital downloading, and it's available on Amazon as a CD as well, so if you like CDs. So if you want to hear 
music played on solo guitar, which I love hearing this time of year, then you can check that out as well. Take care. We'll see you again. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. For more in-depth lessons and to progress through a free guitar course, check out my Guitar 101 series on YouTube and my Guitar Method books, which all come with access to hours of in-depth video lessons. You can find more information about me and my products at kristenbromley.com. Take care.